So remember, components of a vector are two other vectors that add up to get the main vector. And we're used to doing x and y components. So this is the x and this is the y component of this green vector. But note that this x and this y component, notice the tip to tail adding. These are two com components because they tip to tail add up to get to this green vector. In this case, we need to split this force F here into two components that are not X and Y. So that's why this one's difficult. So here's our force F right here. And its length is 500. So we need to split this F into two components. One that's in the direction of this line right here, this AB line. And I know that the component is not going to go this way because when we bring in the other component, the AC line, I mean, we're just, we're just not getting back to this 500. So I'm thinking that it will be something like this. The AB will be here, and then the AC component will be this one. Notice that this AC component here is 30 degrees with the horizontal. I mean, if it was any other angle here, it wouldn't be in the AC direction. So here are my two components. And notice that these components, the green and the purple, they add up to get my resultant, my 500. And again, I know that this component here is good because I have the right direction. I have that it is 45 degrees with a vertical line. And I know that this component's good because I have its directions right too. Its direction is 30 degrees from the horizontal and I've made sure to draw it like that. So now that we have the correct head to tail vector adding going on, we can actually just do the math here. So let's try to determine some of the angles and some of the sides of this triangle right here. And just be careful, never assume, never assume it's a right triangle. I know this is a right angle here because this is a horizontal line and I know that my 500 is going perfectly in the vertical direction. So I know this is 90 degrees. And if I know that, this will be 60 degrees right here. And I have 45 degrees right here. And since there's 180 degrees in every triangle, I can do 180 minus 45 minus 60 to figure out that last angle. And that will be 75. So now that I have that, I can set up a law of sines statement because I have an angle in its side and I have an angle here and I need its side. So we can write that out. So here's my law of sine statement and we can use it to solve for that force component AC, the magnitude of it, this right here. And we'll get 366 and this will be in newtons. And of course I can set up a law of sine statement for my other component. So here's my law of sine equation for the AB component. And if I solve, if I do my algebra, I'll get 448.3 newtons. And those are the magnitudes of the two components of F that are directed in these special directions.